Okay, as we always do with the other activations, first just meditate a bit, start to recalibrate your body with your soul, your soul with your spirit, and submitting your spirit to the Holy Spirit. We just want to get ourselves in a position where we are sensitive and can sense and um, experience the presence of the Lord. I want to there from there, I want you to take communion. We want to recalibrate our imagination. So we call it sanctified imagination. So we want to, um, sanctification means set apart for holy purposes. So we used to use our imagination for maybe for things that are not so holy. And we want to recalibrate that. So firstly, we start by taking communion. You know the process in taking communion. But when you drink the wine or the juice that represents the blood, I want you to imagine that that blood contains the DNA of Jesus. And as you partake of the blood, I want you to see it swirl down your DNA. It's part of your imagination swirling down your DNA and recalibrating that your DNA and DNA of Jesus become one. As you partake of communion, we repent of our sin and any sin that has entangled our being that we are loosed from that. And we repent for using our imagination for unholy purposes. And that we rededicate our imagination to the Lord for holy purposes. And any um, bloodline issues from the past that have come through regarding imagination, we cut those things off and we nullify it. And as you partake of the blood, I want you to see in your imagination that those two DNAs, your DNA, Jesus' DNA, become one and any and and your imagination becomes one with the mind of Christ okay so when you take communion I want you to picture that so that it diffuses with your DNA then you confess that my DNA regarding my imagination has been re, um, then you confess that my DNA, my imagination that is embedded in my DNA has been recalibrated and sanctified to the mind of Christ so that I can imagine exactly the way God intended for me right in the beginning. All right, go ahead and do that. Okay, now that you have sanctified your imagination, I want you to look for a scripture that's descriptive. You can look in Revelations. You can get a scripture in Ezekiel that explains the throne room. And then you read the scripture. And as you read it, I want you to picture it in your mind. Because your imagination is working together with that scripture. As you are reading the scripture and imagining it in your mind, I want you to ask the Lord to show you what else there is. Uh, an angelic being, angelic hosts, anything that God wants to show you. Use that scripture to spark the imagination in you so that it can overflow in anything else that God wants to show you. All right? Start with the scripture, allow it to move over as God starts to show you extra things. If you need to wait a while, do that. Just focus your mind on the Lord and allow Him to just speak to you and expand your imagination. Often when you have a quiet time, you spend time with the Lord or you're busy praying, you legislating, decreeing, governing, picture what you are doing in your mind. So if you are praying for a country, see in your mind what you are praying for is busy happening. All right, because you are creating with your imagination. When I'm having time with the Lord, I see in my imagination what we are busy doing. 
So whatever you do in the physical, praying, uh, reading the scripture, I always attach my imagination to it because what I'm reading I want to create here so that it becomes a reality to me here, it will start manifesting in the physical. Does that make sense to you? The easiest way is to always start with scripture. It will spark your imagination and it will flow over. It is God's desire to show you. You need to know that. He wants to show you. We are created like that. Don't curse yourself by saying, I'm left-brained. That is not something you want to speak over your life. Whether you are left-brained or right-brained, you were created to see in the Spirit, to experience it, to your imagination to be creative, because that's the way you are created. Don't allow the thought of, well, I'm left-brained, so I can't see the way someone, or imagine the way someone can with a right brain that is right-brained. That is not the truth. Okay, and lastly, and this, this is pretty important, because it will affect the way you see, imagine. Your eyes are a gateway, seeing that we are focusing on imagination. So what you feed your eyes with is what goes in. So in other words, let's take an easy one. If you continue to watch pornography, you are going to struggle to see properly in the spirit because you are feeding your eyes that gateway with garbage. It gets processed in your imagination and your imagination gets contaminated with wicked stuff instead of that which is godly. That's why we did the sanctifying the imagination. We recalibrated, we cleansed all the old junk. But you've got to be disciplined to continue feeding that gateway because your eyes are the gateway of the imagination. So that's why when you read the scripture, you are feeding your eyes to start to create and picture in your imagination. If you're going to look at junk continually, I'm not saying you need to watch Christian movies. I'm just saying be aware of what you feed your eyes, that gateway, because it gets processed in your imagination. If you can sort that out, it is a huge step to co-creating with your imagination. If you're going to feed junk in, junk out. Good stuff in, the good is going to come out. You'll see it will change. I love you tremendously. If there's anything you want to know or need help with, you can email me. And um, otherwise, have an awesome week. And we'll chat during the week.